Okay, so welcome back for the band resistant train session. Yes, uh, this is a continuation from the other one. It's not that I've been away and I haven't changed my clothes. So we're going to be doing a resistance session with the band. Okay, working um, all the major body parts, uh, back, chest, legs um, and core. And we're going to be doing 30 seconds each part um, and then do three, three sets, okay? So um, stay with me on this. Do have a rest between. This is going to be 20 minutes, so um, we need to keep it quite, quite tight and condensed. Make sure you've warmed up first and um, cool down at the end. Make sure that you do your stretches as well, okay? So they're all on a separate uh, app that you can watch um, and go through those or do your own one. It's a cute little bird staring at me. So without further ado, we're going to start up. So for this, I am going to be using um, either the bench only so that I can have some resistance on it. So if you're at home, you may want to use the door handle um, or your banister. Just um, make sure that it's sturdy enough to take some resistance and doesn't fly off the wall and you've got to go and get it repaired. Um, again, some of these you can just adapt, take out the legs if you're, um, you're not able to use your legs too much or maybe if you're at work and you just want to do some upper body stuff. Um, during your, your lunch, if you've been sitting at your computer all day, this will be good to get yourself all nice and mobile. So, as I said, we're on 30 seconds a piece. I'm going to start my trusty, steady stopwatch and get myself ready for action. I have to get my list up so I forget what I'm doing. Okay, so first one we're going to be doing, we're going to put this under our feet. You can't see my feet, but it's underneath them. Okay, we're going to be doing a front raise. We're working our uh, legs here and our arms so you can either just bring them up to shoulder height squat back all the way up so we're using our bum as well thrusting forward i've got my hands connected and pushing up breathing out on the way up we're doing this for 30 seconds so you can adjust your resistance on these cables cables bands rather and you can make it easier or you can make it harder oh there we go 30 seconds already done okay next one we're going to be doing is going to be just working the one part this time. So one arm is going to be fixed by your side, the other arm is coming up and back, okay? So we're working the rear and top part of our delts, keeping the other arm fixed by our side, and we're going to do each arm now, like you're raising your sword from your shoe. Try to keep the rest of the body still, use your core muscles. Okay, we're going to go for a few more seconds on this side, do this quite quickly. Again, you can if, you can't, if you've got um, reduced range in your shoulders, just don't try and get the arm up so high. Okay, I'm going to swap right now. So opposite side. You may want to keep adjusting for a little bit, so I'm going to go maybe a little bit harder on myself, but keeping it nice and slow. Control. Just imagine your little finger is leading the way, so that's the first thing up. Wrists nice and fixed. Soft in your knees. Abs engaged but not fully contracted okay so these are the two exercises we're going to do we're going to do two more rounds of these after we've got five four three two and one okay so have a little rest there we're going to do a short rest okay because it's only 30 second bursts then we're going to go straight back into the first one again so i'm just going to get yourself prepared so underneath your feet thumbs leading off we go and oh my goodness that was a bit too much just want to make sure you've got equal on both sides and up. So squat and raise. And raise. Sit back with that squat. I'm just going to turn around just so you can see. Squat and raise. And raise. And look at the lovely fog, which is still here, hasn't gone anywhere. And up. We've got three, two, and one. Lovely. Let's go to those delts rear again. One arm down and slow and control. See, nothing else moving in the body apart from my mouth, which can't stop. And breathe out. And in. And in. Good, just a few seconds to go now on this arm. Three, two, one. Swap it over. Little finger leading, remember? And down. And up. And so the next ones we're going to do after this final set coming up is going to be chest. Actually, we'll do the back next just because we worked the triceps a bit here. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely. Have a little rest. 
to just get everything rotating just in case you've got any lactic acid do feel those muscles burning you might want to reduce that resistance just a little bit so you can finish the sets get yourself ready for your next set okay I've got my hands together and we're off last 30 of these and now keep a good squat when you do this so nice and deep sit back onto that imaginary toilet breathe out on the way up squeeze those glutes as you stand up thrusting them forward and we've got last five seconds for three two and one good job rest there a second get yourself sorted little finger leading let's go so we're up and back up this is a really good i like this exercise for the shoulder especially for the rear delt which is the ones at the top of your arm but they do tire quite quickly so for mine now so i can get a bit achy and last few seconds coming up four three two and swap oh it's really cute your little yellow birds saw my first red squirrel today well not first ever i've seen one in my life before but i just saw my second one in my life which i'm very chuffed about cute little thing and i saw my first mink yesterday never seen a mink before either to be honest oh it was a uh, ferret <laughs> Mm, never seen one. Okay, last five, four, three. It's a power boat coming if you can hear that noise in the background. Oh, it's a rescue boat. I'm in trouble. And rest. Oh, a bit of a pingy on the end. Okay, so there we go. That's our first set of exercises. We're going to move on to back now. Okay, so two exercises. One is going to be a reverse flight. Okay, so we're going to be crawling back in stay position, squeezing the shoulder blades behind as we stretch back the other one's going to be a row okay so we're going to have one leg forward in lunge position and then we're pulling back okay keeping that lunge really low so we're working our legs at the same time just coming this way so you can see so in lunge and we're pulling back all right so we're going to start those make sure you have a little rest and a drink in between and then we're going to crack on I'm going to start my timer again actually i won't bother i'll just check on here Okay, so 30 seconds, relax the shoulders, and we're coming back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So soft in the rest of the body, and squeeze right across the chest. <sighs> Breathe, out. <sighs> Breathe out. This is a really good one. If you're sitting at your desk all day, and you, everything gets squashed forward, this is really good to stretch it out, and get those back muscles stronger. They get they get long and weak when you're sitting like this okay we've got five four three two yeah oh yeah i felt that off a bit okay so single leg now remember i'll get around this way just so you get a bit of view lunge position slightly leaning forward strong muscles these back muscles so keep yourself nice neutral and we're coming back trying to relax the shoulders still elbows keeping nice and close to the body it coming back good make sure in that lunge position that knee doesn't drift forward of those toes you should be able to see your toes in this position okay over halfway now so still working the back and we've got eight seven six five four three two and one oh lovely so our next set we'll start with the other leg just so they both get a good use have a nice 20 30 seconds rest in between again move it all around so rhomboids between here between your shoulder blades pull them back traps a nice little v-shape goes all the way down your yeah, back the main ones we're working with a few other random bits and pieces in between okay so here we go again arms up soft in knees always keep checking your posture while you're doing these things nice and neutral in that back I'm just checking the time when I'm doing this one second and back so squeeze I'm trying to get my little shoulder blades to have a kissy good you're gonna feel this a little bit in your shoulders as well especially as you've just done shoulder exercises but I want you to really focus on those shoulder blades behind you okay because they're the ones we want 
working, well not the shoulder blades working, but the rhomboid is working and bringing those shoulder blades together. Last few seconds then, and five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so opposite leg forward, into lunge position, we go nice and deep for this one, and pull back, get that one a bit stronger. I say, these are called resistance bands, and if you haven't got one yet, go and grab yourself one, because they're really useful, you can take them anywhere, especially on holiday, they're really light, they take up any room, and they last for quite some time really. You have to be careful if you're putting them around on the floor, like I have, they don't get nicked, because they do rip quite quickly if they get a nick in them, this makes them weak very quickly. Okay, 10 seconds, squeeze, squeeze, so just remember, the rest of the body's not moving, it's just your arms, so you're not coming up and down with the back, just as arms pulling back, three, two, and one, lovely, two down, last one coming up, is that you, I'm feeling it in my shoulders, come back, if you're not feeling it at all, you may want to get a stronger resistance band, they come in all different strengths, really light, very light, light, medium, strong, I think this is a medium to strong, I can't remember now, okay, so first one, let's go, pull back, last time on these and these exercises are good for your wrists makes them strong as long as you keep them strong so just check that they're not bending right in but they're keeping nice nice line with your forearms good halfway then squeeze squeeze and we've got five four three two one more for lap and lovely. Right, so we're going to do 15 on each side for this one so that we make sure both the legs get a good mushy mushy workout. Let's go. 15 then. And row. And row. Keep the rest of the body still. Let's go around here just again so you can see what's going on from the side. I'm getting really hungry. Okay. And we're going to swap quick as you can then, other foot down, and off we go. Nice and light, lunge, get those legs working. 15 on this side now, still elbows brushing alongside those ribs as they come back. And we've got five, four, three, whoo, and one, five. How you doing? Hmm. Tight, tight, tight. I've got this horrible ride home after this. It's disgusting hill down here. And this bike, God bless it. Can't change the gears, it's all rusty completely. I thought I was gonna, my heart was gonna literally pop out of my mouth and up my nose the other day when I did this. It was ugh, vile. I prefer running it to be honest. Okay, so let's move on to chest. We've got two exercises. So, first one, under the armpits. Okay, we're bringing those arms together. Like so, okay? You got me? This is all we're doing. Nice and narrow chest press. Then, okay, this is where you might need something, where you will need something, to be honest. One arm, so this is just gonna hold the resistance for you, okay? Nicely down by the side. Other one is coming across. Okay, I'll keep it here, actually. So I'm gonna bring my knee up for this as well, just to get me hip flexors going. But you can just hold it and come across the body. So we're gonna try and keep it nice and wide. Okay, so you've got gaps, so it doesn't, it's not in here when it finishes, it's out quite wide. It's hard to see from the other angle though, that's the only problem. So let's have two exercises. Right then, let's crack on. First one then, double arm. Well, that's a really nice boat coming through, isn't it? 30 seconds, let's go. In and back. In and back. Very nice boat. Sorry, I should be concentrating here with you, not over there. A very nice boat, there's a nice yacht club next to us. I am the proud owner of a rubber dinghy, I can tell you that for nothing, can't be jealous. There's a rubber kayak, blow up kayak, love it. Okay, here we do for time, we've got five seconds, four, three, squeeze those chest muscles, two, and one, lovely, so as quickly as you can, wrap it around something or other that you can find that is sturdy enough. Okay, thumbs up, coming across, remember? So, I'm coming up, bringing my knee up, squeezing my abs now. 
So obviously on the last set, we're gonna do half and half. You might feel that you find it better with a pair of gloves on with these. I didn't bring mine with me, but it does catch a little bit between your thumb and your finger. And we've got 10 seconds. So this other one is just keeping that resistance for me. Five, four, three, two, yeah, okay, so this is a single arm fly, okay, as we're drawing across, just so you know. That's really hot in my hand. Then we go back to chest press again. I ain't done the other side yet, have I? That's not weird. <laughs> my bad. I'm not paying attention now. Too busy. Um, right, let me, let me come around here. Just so you can see. Woo. Okay, so sorry about that. I wasn't paying attention. So I'm bringing my other knee up this time. Need a bit more resistance on that, it's a bit weak. And across. So you can see my arms are quite wide. But this one, we've got 30 seconds again on the other arm. This is what happens when you do naked videoing. There's no editing going on. I just apologise for being a bit dumbo-y sometimes. Good. Trying to keep the rest of the body still, so shoulders not moving. Abs are working to keep you still quite a challenge it's good for your balance and stability on this one as well last few seconds and we've got eight seven six five again remember you don't need to do your leg with this one three two and one Done. right back onto chest again Ooh, too tight that one 30 seconds just hear these noises, but you can't even see anything. It's like that would film the fog. A bit eerie. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, we're nearly there. So we've got another 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. So remember, nice and slow and controlled with these. I'm trying to. It's all about resistance, endurance. It's not strength for hypertrophy. Five, four, three, two, and one. Endurance is not so heavy, heavy weight, but more reps, okay? So you should be getting out about 12 to 15 reps in these sets. Off we go again. Squeeze. You can always do longer. <coughs> longer sets if you want to, or more sets. Everyone's watching me now, it's getting busy. Last 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, trying to keep myself as still as possible. You can see my shoulder moving a bit naughty naughty. I'm trying to work my abs more. And other side. <coughs> okay. Woo. I've been going before me on, Whitney. Wide. And wide. And wide. Is that seconds 30 odd? Okay. 15 seconds to go. Such a nice view. See anything? And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, someone's swimming. And relax. Okay, we've got one round to go. I've got a boy attached to their backside because it's foggy, so you can see them. It's quite a clever idea. A bit weird, I have to say. Safety first. Right, last round of the chest then. Let's go, 30 seconds. <coughs> so we've got one lot of exercises to go after this. And squeeze and squeeze and squeeze out squeeze lovely lovely we're going to mix up the last ones because we're going to do biceps triceps a lunge and a squat and 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay last two rounds of these bad boys. Okie dokie, you with me? Let's go, across. 
Oh, we're on the 20 minutes. Run over a little bit. I might have to sacrifice something. What should I sacrifice? Mm. Should we do core? Pretty good to do core. So we have done a bit of a lunge. I think we need hit. Okay, so we'll sacrifice. We'll do core to finish off. And sacrifice the lunge, biceps, triceps. Because we've been They've been working the whole way through anyway. Two, one. Uh, that's my counting again, probably. As usual. Pretty rubbish. Okay. Last one then. Let's go. Cross. It's pulling me over now. Fifteen coming up. And nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Alright then, so apologies about that. But we will finish on whew, some core. So we're going to do some rotations now. So working abs, bleaks, soft in the knees. Okay, so we're literally coming round to the opposite side. Squeezing those abs in, obliques in, keeping the shoulders relaxed. Okay, using both cables now and pull. So keep it soft in the knees. You can pivot a little bit on the toes, which you can't see for me. Okay, but a little bit of a pivot which stops you putting any strain and twisting the knee. So let's go that further do because we've run out of time. And wrap. And big pull. You've got to squeeze your tummy muscles in for this. If you don't, your arms are going to be doing more of the work. So pull, squeeze, and squeeze. Squeeze. Good, stay with. Make a bit more resistance. Make me work harder. It's good for me. Let's make sure this doesn't ping off the top of my, my chair. Because it will hurt. Uh, just check what you're using because this does take quite a bit of strain on the appliance. Thankfully, this is a sturdy old bench in the park. Five, four, three, two, one. Lovely. Okay. Round to the other side. So you can see from a different angle here. And we're coming round. You see there's lots of muscles working here. Anyway, it isn't just your core. But try and keep your shoulders relaxed so they will have a habit of coming up around your ear rolls. We don't want that. We want it all coming from your core. Squeeze them babies. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Have a little rest, then we're going to do that all again. Okay, I'm just going to do this one more time through, but because of timing. But you can do one more set after this, two more sets after this. Three if you're feeling it. It's good to work those. That whole area, back, core. Bloody, bloody blur. Okay, so nice and soft again. Let's go. Cross. I'm really squeezing and tensing my muscles in my abs and the bleaks now so that they're really working I'm controlling my speed how I'm moving and get that breathing and we're gonna go for five four three two one more for luck okay last time other side we're ready for this. Let's get that little bit tight. I'll make the side work just as hard. One of the difficult things with bands, I'm sure you're of things, making sure you've got equal resistance on both sides when you're doing an exercise. If you're on like weights, you can't, you know, just pick up a two kilo. You're using your, your judgment on this. You just need to make sure that by the end of the set, the areas that you're working, you can feel that they've worked. If you can't feel anything, you're either doing you're not doing it right, the exercise correct technique, or you've not got enough resistance. Because if it doesn't challenge your baby, it does not change you. And we've got five, four, three, two, one more. <laughs> Ooh, it's actually surprisingly hard work, to be honest with you. Okay, so there you have it. That's my resistance band. 
one resistance band workout, there's many more, I'll probably do some more in the future, hurt my fingers, obviously I missed out the biceps and triceps, and one set at the end of the rotation, so give yourself another set on those, don't slack on the abs, hope you've enjoyed it, if you have, please subscribe, give me comments, feedback again, if there's anything you'd like to do a session with, or if you've got bits lying around in your house that you don't know what to do with, send me a message, and we'll see what we can do. This is Jay, Heart and Soul Training, wishing you a great Saturday, um, or whatever day of the week it is when you're doing this, and I'll see you soon.